In a typical Kansas City basement, whether it's a block or poured concrete, when you go down to that basement and you take a look at the border between the wall and the floor of that basement, you'll, you'll tend to see a gap. And, and that gap is called a cold joint. In that gap exists really nothing. There's no grout, there's no glue, there's no concrete holding those together. It's called a cold joint because you have a, it, it's a union or a joining point of, of all the poured concrete structures. So when a foundation is poured, you have a footing that's poured separately than the wall itself. The wall sits on the footing and so does the floor, the slab floor. They all meet and rest on that footing. In that junction where they all meet is considered the cold joint. Now from on top of the basement floor, you see a shadow or you see a gap there. And over time, what happens, what we see here in Kansas City, because of the seasonal changes, because of the clay that's in our soil, and when clay gets wet, it tends to expand. When it gets dry, it contracts. And now that produces different pressures our, during different times of the year for our Kansas City homes. That cold joint can move and shift and ultimately be, ultimately be compromised. And when it does, and then the soil gets overly wet, the clay begins to expand so much and puts so much hydrostatic pressure on the walls of the uh, foundation from the outside, you have a tendency to see water that comes through the cold joint because it's now shifted and moved and, and so that cold seal has now been broken. It won't repair itself. That seal that got broken, that is now a least path of resistance for the water is gonna stay as a least path of resistance. So for us at KC Pier, we have remedies for cold joint movement or cold joint penetration or infiltration of water. There's multiple ways to repair cold joint water. Uh, we have interior drains, we have exterior drains, all have different pricing points, all come with different levels of warranty on them, but they're all very repairable. The question we get a lot of times with homeowners is they just don't know where the water's coming from. They're, they're looking for a crack. They're looking for something that's obvious and a cold joint will look like a cold joint. It'll just look like a gap. You can't tell because the movement has been so slight that, that the water is just simply kind of showing up from a homeowner's perspective. It's very common um, and, and it happens to any house. And, and so we have remedies, especially our interior drain product that actually drains, uh, takes, takes the water in and drops it into essentially a moat that we dig inside the foundation and drains that over to a sump pump and the sump pump will then manage and disperse the water away from the home. So it's a water management solution technique. It's very, very popular. In more severe cases, we can do an exterior uh, waterproofing as well, but that comes with a, a much higher expense. But all the same, both, both remedies are very, very effective for cold joint expansion and contraction.